Hello classmates, hello teacher, it's me again, Genshin de Fuego. In this video, we will do an experiment using these mod balls. These mod balls are in their solid state. As you can see, these are white and sparkle in shape. And they also have this di distinct smell. They are actually made of naphthalene, which is an organic insecticide. They are called moth balls because they are used to ward off moths and other fabric pests living in our closets. I'm going to put some of these moth balls here in my drawer and I'm gonna leave them in here for some days. At the same time, I'm also going to keep some moth balls inside their plastic pouch so that they will stay the same all throughout the experiment. There, these will be our control variable so we can have a basis of comparison when it's time to take out the moth ball from the drawer. Ten days have passed and it's now time to check on the moth balls that we left inside the drawer. Let us now compare it to, the, to our control variable, the moth balls that we did not use so it will remain the same all throughout. Notice the difference between the two. The moss balls that we put inside the drawer became smaller in size. My drawer and my clothes also smell like moss balls now. The moss balls shrunk because part of it turned into vapor. With the help of the air and work at once inside the drawer, phase change can happen when the temperature of the material is increased. The process of the transition from the solid phase to the gas phase without passing through an intermediate liquid phase is called sublimation. Sublimating happens by increasing the temperature of the material. During sublimation, a solid on heating converts directly into vapor without passing through the liquid state. But not all solids sublimate. It just happens that mothballs are made up of naphthalene, which has very weak intermolecular forces. Because of these weak forces, the moth balls easily sublimate when exposed to increased temperature and turns into gas. Now this vapor is either absorbed by the fabric or it escapes into the air causing the moth balls to shrink or disappear over time. And that is also why my clothes and my drawer now smells like the smell of moth balls.